Okay, so I'll admit it, I've never had a Reddit account before. I've lurked on a couple of subreddits, such as skincare, and ask women, just like most insecure teenage girls, but I never needed an account until now. And I hate it that I'm starting this way, but I didn't know where else to post. I honestly don't know what's happening. I also apologize for any spelling errors as it is 3 a.m. and I'm on my phone in almost complete darkness, but I can't wake it up. To give you a little backstory, I'm living with my 19 year old sister at our parents' place and we also happen to share a room. I've known my sister for 16 years and I can describe her in detail. Her honey blonde hair, strong citrus scent, affinity for books and early sleep, and how she'll always reply with don't let the bed bugs bite. When I tell her goodnight. Unlike her, I'm a night owl. I don't remember a night where I haven't gone to bed after 1am. And even though my sister is long asleep, I can always feel her trying to wait for me to go to bed too at the same time. That's how close we are. Today, or tonight to be exact, things were different. I got back home from a girls night out with my besties just a little before 2am and our parents also happened not to be home. But that was nothing new. An alcoholic father and a busy working mom spending nights away was no surprise to us. But I knew my sister was there, I always had her to rely on. As soon as I got home I noticed things were off by the minute I entered the room. I expected to find her laying straight on her back. I was always in awe of her ability to sleep completely still. This time she was face against the wall, her back turned to me. I brushed it off, thinking maybe she just wasn't feeling well. But as I was preparing to lay down on my own bed, I noticed something. Her body was bigger. She smelled different. Not a hint of citrus. And her groomed, straight honey blonde hair was messy. Not even bedtime messy, something else. Entirely. Maybe it was the dark or my lack of sleep, but I swear my petite 5 foot 2 sister seemed larger. But one thing could brush all of my doubts away was her routine reply to my goodnight. So I told her goodnight, attempting not to sound visibly shaken, and she replied. It was her voice, her tone, her pitch. But all she said was, Good night. Now you might think I'm crazy. It's just a good night. But it's the little things that make a person, especially if you know them so well. And this, this isn't it. This isn't her. Everything seems way off and I'm scared. Too scared to move. Too scared to speak. Too scared to rush to the couch or call someone. That thing might sense it, and I don't know what else it'll do to me. So here I am, roughly 3am posting this on Reddit, hoping I'll get some help. I don't know what's happening and I don't know what it'll do to me, or what it did with my sister. But all I know is that is not my sister. Please, help me. Society has made man predictable, and being predictable is boring. When there are no longer questions to be solved about an object or idea, it becomes meaningless to interact with them. What used to be man has been replaced by these machines that spit out responses and reactions that mean nothing as they aren't their own. Man and woman are made through the norms and taboos of society. Their whole being is made from a collective consciousness they had no part in until they were assimilated by default. Without resistance, they give the power of choice over to an entity without form and choose to follow the rules it sets. They have become lazy and uninspired. When a man enters a town, he will find a woman that he finds suitable, predictable, 
When the man gives the woman enough time and money, they will grow fond of the man. Predictable. When the woman's father falls ill and the man lends his labor while he is recovering, the woman will say she loves the man. Predictable. When the man takes the woman under the vast expanding nothingness that is the night sky, she will say it's beautiful and the man will say not as beautiful as you and she loves it. Predictable. When the man helps the mother cook and clean on Thanksgiving, she'll swear my daughter is so lucky to have a man like you. Predictable. When the woman's brother goes hunting and dies, the woman seeks comfort from the man. He reassures her that he's in a better place and she believes him. Predictable. When the man wins the affection and devotion of the woman, they will marry, and the woman will be happy. Predictable. The man will not. When the woman is taken to a dark country road instead of to her honeymoon suite, she will be confused. When the woman is confronted with her own death, she will cry and scream and lash out and moan and plead and beg and bleed. Predictable. When the man arrives at the woman's house, he startles the mother with his appearance. She assumes the blood is the man's and tries to help him. Predictable. When the mother is told what had happened to her daughter, what had happened to her son, and what would soon happen to her, she goes for the phone. She doesn't last as long as her daughter, nor does she feel as nice. Predictable. The father is fast asleep. His heart condition keeps him weak and docile in his later years. He doesn't hear the man open his door. Predictable. He doesn't hear the man open his head. The fire from the house is brilliant and great in its illumination. The whipping flames and erratic nature are all new and unseen. While simple, the potential for creation is immense. When society is cracked and crumbled, the true nature of the world comes out. I've seen it before in another place. Far away from this little town, I've seen man and woman tear each other to shreds, and children left abandoned to either become predator or prey. I've seen righteous men go mad. And in that madness, the truth of humanity is revealed. Terror and chaos are the keys to man's true self in this way. That's what I gave them. In their last seconds, their minds became free. Free of the constraints made by others and their beliefs. In those last few moments, they are free. What they say, how they act, and ultimately, how they leave are always different. I know because I keep them with me to study. The videos I have allow me to further understand how to manipulate man and release itself from the cage that he's created. I'm not crazy, but I am real. So are you. You most likely believe this story isn't, however. You are still bound by conventions that tell you that this is just another story. Some madman spewing nonsense. This is wrong. And predictable.